So today I have swatches of the OPI Soft Shades for 2015. OPI puts a Soft Shades collection out in the springtime. It's kind of like the Essie Bridal collection. Um, they're very light, you know, delicate colors, and a lot of times they are kind of like sheer French manicure or like, you know, barely wearing polish kind of colors. Um, these are supposed to be out sometime in April. I got mine from 365 Nail Art. Uh, 365 Nail Art does take a really long time to ship though. I just wanted you guys to know about that. I You order them and they give you a shipping notification, but then it takes them like a week and a half to actually take the package to the post office before it starts moving. Um, so I don't know. It's up to you whether you want to wait until you can find these in stores or not. They might be popping up right now. I'm not really sure. Um, also let me know what you guys think about having a face intro to my swatch videos. I didn't really want to just be like a talking hand all the time, so I thought I would try to throw these into the beginning and end of my swatch videos. So yeah, there are six polishes in this collection, two glitters, and the rest are all to be worn on their own kind of polishes. So I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Act Your Beige, and this is kind of a pinky beige neutral. The pinky isn't showing up too much on camera, but it is there. So here is one coat of Act Your Beige. This one is sheer, it's meant to be sheer, but it, because it's sheer, it's a little bit thin. This one could be prone to running if you weren't careful. I'm gonna do three coats of all of these sheer polishes and just stop at three because like I said, they are meant to be sheer and I kind of max out at three coats. So that's what I'm gonna show here. So there is one coat of Act Your Beige. I'm gonna let that dry and come back for a second coat. So here is two coats of Act Your Beige. This one is sheer, it is meant to be sheer, um, but it also covers pretty evenly. Some of the sheer polishes that are meant to look like nice clean manicure colors tend to look really streaky and that totally defeats the purpose of using them as like a sheer clean manicure color because they're too streaky to look decent and this one does even itself out really well. So there is two coats of Act Your Beige. I'm gonna let that dry and come back for a third coat. So here is three coats of Act Your Beige. It's not 100% opaque, but it probably never will be. And again, the coverage is nice and even too, with the streaks and leveling issues even themselves out as it dries. So there is three coats of Act Your Beige. So the next polish is called Chiffon My Mind. These are all very light, soft, nudie colors. This one is a little bit, I feel like, on the purpley side. This has a silver to blue shimmer and some very tiny, um, like, reflective pink flakies in it as well. So here is one coat of Chiffon My Mind. This one is a bit sheer on the first coat. This one is thicker than the last one, but it's still a little bit thin, so I have to be careful it doesn't pool anywhere. So there is one coat of Chiffon My Mind. I'm gonna let that dry and come back for a second coat. There is two coats of Chiffon My Mind. This one builds up pretty good on two coats, but it still has some streaky issues, so I'm gonna do three. The shimmer stands out really nicely in this one. So there is two coats of Chiffon My Mind. I'm gonna let that dry and come back for a third coat. So here is three coats of Chiffon My Mind. This one covers better, but it's still a tiny bit streaky, but I don't really like to do more than three. The streaks that are still here are very, very minimal. You'd have to really know they were there to pick them out. So there is three coats of Chiffon My Mind. The next polish is called Petal Soft, and this is a matte baby pink hex glitter in a clear base, and it also has these really cool, like, extra loopy kind of white matte flower glitters as well. And I'm layering this one over Chiffon My Mind. So here is one coat of Petal Soft. This polish is a tiny bit base heavy, but it does, you do get a lot of glitter on your brush. You just have to do a tiny bit of swirling to get these larger flower glitters out. I'm actually really, really impressed with it as far as how easy those large glitters are to find in the bottle. So there is Petal Soft. The next polish is called This Silver's Mine, and this is a light, ah, it's almost like a platinum, is platinum like a mix between silver and gold? It's kind of like a mix between a silver and a gold metallic. So here is one coat of This Silver's Mine. This one covers okay on the first coat. It is gonna be very brush strokey though. Formula is a little bit thin. You have to be careful not to flood your cuticles with it. 
So there's one coat of This Silver's Mine. I'm gonna let that dry and come back for a second coat. So here is two coats of This Silver's Mine. This one covers completely on two coats, but it does have really bad brush strokes. You do wanna be careful to make sure that you brush it on as straight as possible, because you're gonna be able to see every single stroke. Alternatively, you can sponge on the last coat, and that will help eliminate a lot of the brush strokes, though. So there is two coats of This Silver's Mine. The next polish is called Put It In Neutral, and this is a kind of light blush toned-ish uh, sheer polish. It's turning out a little more taupey on camera. It's not showing that pink tone that it has. So here is one coat of Put It In Neutral. So you can see this is almost the exact color of my skin, and it is very jelly-like. This is a bit thin because it is like a jelly, so you do have to be careful not to flood your cuticles with it. It's not very streaky right now though, but it is a little bit hard to tell because of how sheer it is. So there is one coat of Put It In Neutral. I'm going to let that dry and come back for a second coat. So here is two coats of Put It In Neutral. This one covers a little bit better on the second coat, but it's never going to be 100% opaque. I really like this color and it does apply really, really evenly too. So there is two coats of Put It In Neutral. I'm going to let that dry and come back for one more coat. So here is three coats of Put It In Neutral. This one covers pretty well on three coats, but it's not 100%, but it's not meant to be 100% either. Again, it applies really, really evenly, which is crucial for these kind of sheer polishes. So there is three coats of Put It In Neutral. And the last polish is called Make Light of the Situation, and this is a fairly opaque-ish iridescent base with different sizes of iridescent hex glitter inside of it. I think it might be possible to build this up on its own, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you as a topper. I'm gonna be layering this one over Act Your Beige. So here is one coat of Make Light of the Situation. This one is, like I said, I'm using it as a topper, but you might be able to build it up on its own. This is very, very easy to apply and it spreads out easily and evenly over the nail. So there is Make Light of the Situation. So my two favorites are Make Light of the Situation because, I don't know, this is just a really, really beautiful color and it's really sparkly and I really think that you could layer this on its own if you really wanted to, but over a topper, like over a light color makes it kind of look like you're wearing it on its own anyway with fewer coats, but I still really, really like this one. This was a surprise favorite for me. And I also really, really liked Act Your Beige. So I didn't think I would like this as much, but when I put the three coats on and I had that kind of like just really clean looking manicure look, I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. A lot more than I think even like full coverage nudes on my nails. I think I liked this better. So I was really excited about this one as well. Overall, I think this is a really great collection if you know what you're getting into. I know a lot of people will complain about sheer polishes um, and, you know, not liking to do multiple coats, but that is kind of the, the point of these, of the soft shades and even the Essie Bridal collection. They're kind of meant to um, be sheer and be worn, you know, with like kind of a more clean or like French manicure style. So, I mean, that's if that's your style, then these are great. If they're not, I would skip them, but they're not like a bad formula. They're just meant to look like that. So those are the OPI soft shades. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.